The go-to summer hairstyle has to be sexy beachy waves. Let's go into the office and see how three of my coworkers fared when they tried out three of these beach wave sprays. So I see you have these gorgeous beach waves and I actually gave you the L'Oreal Everstyle Beach Wave Spray because you have thicker hair and it's also color treated. So why do you like this product? I love it. It's actually keeping my hair held all day long. Mm -hmm. It's midday now and they're fully intact. Mm -hmm. Other beach wave sprays usually let my hair curls fall down too much. Yeah, you know, the thing about your hair is it is thick, so sometimes if you put like a sea salt beach wave spray in, it can make it really heavy and weigh it down. So I love to hear that it feels like weightless and gorgeous. And also, this doesn't have alcohol in it, so it's not going to strip this beautiful balayage color that you have. You're going to be able to go a longer time in between going to the salons. So the takeaway is that if you have thick or colored hair, use an alcohol-free spray like this one from L'Oreal. If you have fine limp hair or maybe just a little bit too clean, you need a texturizing spray that's going to add a lot of fullness to it, which is why we like Davinesse's Sea Salt Primer for Wizards. I let Lauren try this out, so Lauren, talk to me. Well, I use a lot of beach sprays because I like to spray and go in the morning, super lazy when it comes to that. This just feels like the most substantial spray I've used. Like it changes the texture of my hair. So if you have fine hair like Lauren's, the reason why you'll love this spray is because it has marine sea salt in it. So it's going to make your hair feel a lot more full, a lot more texturized. And you can see and feel the salt in your hair. It's straight out of the water. One thing you can do is use it as a primer for your hair. So spritz it in, curl your hair, and those curls are gonna last all day long. Just remember if you do have finer, limper hair, or maybe it's just a little bit too clean, you do want a spray that's going to add a lot of fullness and texture to it, like this one from Dobbiness. Hey, Ray. Hi, Kirby. How are you? Oh, great. Your hair always looks so pretty. Oh, thank you. It's so you sweet. That natural, gorgeous wave to it. Yeah. That's why I gave you the Victoria's Secret Beach Hair Wave Spray. Yeah. How did you like it? It was great. My natural waves. I always just need to, you know, tame the frizz, get rid of flyaways. So it was perfect. It did the job great. Yeah. And it probably added a little bit of shine. Exactly. Too. So this actually has sunflower seed extract in it, which is really moisturizing. So if you have split ends or damaged hair from coloring it. This will definitely help you out. And it also has UV ray absorbers, so it's going to protect your hair from the sun and from getting too damaged from being outside. As displayed by Rachel, if you have wavy hair or maybe your hair is damaged, find a hydrating spray like this one from Victoria's Secret. So you heard from my coworkers, but if you have hair like me that's highlighted or dull, depending on the day, you definitely want to try out this one from Purology. This thing has light reflectors in it that's going to make your highlights look a lot more vibrant and a lot more bright and shiny instead of dull. It also doesn't have sea salt in it. So sea salt can sometimes dry out your hair and fade your color. So you don't have to worry about that with this one. So with that being said, here are your four beach wave sprays for summer, the essential products you need. Just remember to use a clarifying shampoo every other day when using a beach wave spray because they can add a little bit of buildup. I'm Kirby and we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Beauty.